Best ways to import Google Calendar to Notion. Notion automation tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can add all of your Google Calendar information into your Notion calendar. So let's get into it. Now, Google Calendar and Notion are two separate applications. You don't have anything that you can, you know, use to integrate both of those together. Uh, you can't really, you know, view all of those calendars on, you know, on and off, on and off. You will have to switch tabs all the time to be able to see all of your information on Google Calendar and there is no direct way that you can automate both of these together. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how you're going to do that in a couple of different ways. So there are two basic ways that you can do this. First off, uh, you're going to go into automate-notion.com. So this is a platform or automation tool that allows you to add your Google Calendar to Notion directly. This is a simple way that you can integrate it. You can simply click on download for free, enter your email address, and you will just, you know, download this automation. And what you will do is you can click on automation tools, and then you can see a bunch of different tools that are available. But all you have to do is click on duplicate on the top right over here. So your workspace on Notion will be duplicated because I have already logged on to my Notion account over here. It will be able to duplicate my workspace. So once you have gone over the automatenotion.com, once you have downloaded this, this new tab will open. You clicked on duplicate and you will see Bardeen over here. So in Bardeen, you're going to select Bardeen. You can see all of the information and you can click on over here and click on duplicate over here. And just make sure that it is a free option. It is added to your, uh, you know, platform and all of your, all of the data has been transferred. So once you do that, you can also click on move to, and you can move this to the notions app over here. And once you have moved Bardeen over here, you can click on plus and you can click on calendar. So you're going to add a calendar. And once you have, you know, like a data source, you can just click on the calendar over here. With Bardeen, you're going to click on templates. And you have multiple different templates that you can pick from within Bardeen. Now, uh, if you open up a new tab, once you open up a new tab, you're going to go into the Chrome web store and you're going to click on add to Chrome and add the extension as well, because we want to automate our calendar. And for that, we will need the extension as well. So once you do that, you will be able to see in the left side of your screen, you have your Notion automation uh, download. So I'm just going to sign up with Bardeen using the email that I previously used on Notion just so everything is synced up properly. And once I've done that, I'm just going to pin Bardeen in my Chrome bar over here just so you guys can better see how we're going to do this. Now, once we've done that, what we're going to do is head on over back to our normal workspace. So going back to our workspace, we're going to go into the Notion automation tools. We can go into the Notion automation tools and click on enter and you can even click on import and you can import information from other platforms. You can import the HTML, you can import CSV files as well. You also have multiple different templates, so you can click on templates over here and you can see you have, uh, you know, the to do list template you have. If you scroll down, you will be able to see your social media calendar, content calendar. So let's say we want our content calendar and you can, uh, you know, enable all these templates as well. Now we don't need a template. We want a simple platform. So what we're going to do is once we have this, we're just going to create a simple calendar. So we're going to move our simple calendar into the Bardeen section. And then we're going to open up the Bardeen extension from over here. And you're going to click on auto books. And once you click on auto books on the top left, you can scroll down and you can see multiple different templates. So you can click on create auto book and you can simply choose a action. So we want Google over here. So we're going to click on activate Google Calendar. We're going to click on connect over here. And now you can see the Bardeen extension is adding our Google Calendar plugin directly to our Notion application. You're going to add all this information. You're going to click on continue over here. And once you've done that, now you can see Google Calendar has been integrated. So we're just going to scroll down and we're going to look for Google Calendar. And you can see we have Google Calendar added into our Bardeen application. And now we will just connect our apps over here. 
And once you've done that, you will be able to go back into Notion and have a synced up calendar with your Google Calendar. So it's pretty simple and you will be able to do this with Bardeen and Notion. Now, for some people, this might be a little complicated and you might want a simpler way to do this. You might not want to add this many integrations or you might not want, you know, multiple different applications noted within your Notion application, although it is pretty simple and you can do it very simply and very easily. It's pretty simple to do it. The Bardeen application is uh, relatively safe and you don't need you know any kind of fancy stuff to be able to do this it's effective and it allows you to uh, get you know multiple different data sources so in this way you can add your calendars you will have all the information integrated within that calendar as well now if you want a different calendar so if you want maybe just a display calendar information if you don't want to do this process so what i will do is i will remove these applications from over here and i will create a new little page which is just a calendar or you can just create an empty page whatever it might be you can actually transport or your google calendar into this platform so if you just want to display the information in this way you're not going to be able to make edits directly onto your google calendar what you have to do is go into your calendar and go into google calendar and click on settings on the top right over here once you click on settings what you're going to do is you're going to click on the settings for your calendar so let's say i want my own personal calendar you're going to click on access permissions for calendar and you can get a shareable calendar so you need to make sure you're making it public and then once you do that you're going to click on get a shareable link and you're just going to copy this link over here and go back into the notion application and in your page what you're going to do is click on select data source and you can click on new database and what you're going to do is you're going to simply enter paste in mat style whatever you want you can click on create embed and this will embed the section it's best if you leave it empty so uh, we're just going to add a simple empty page like this and then you're just going to click on slash and you can see you have multiple different types of uh, you know uh, options so you're just going to scroll down and what you're going to do is you're going to embed a code and you can click on paste and you can turn this into javascript if you want but if you want to keep it simple i will just create an empty page you can do dash and you have multiple different options over here and once you do dash you can see google maps google drive uh, you can just embed uh, simple things uh, such as your Meyer calendar pdfs Slack, asana zoom any other application so we're going to do a simple embed so we're just going to click on embed and you're going to paste the embed link click on embed link and now you'll have your google calendar link now this makes your calendar public and uh if you're like a yoga teacher and you want people to be able to see when you're doing your classes or display like a schedule then this is good but if you want to be able to you know get full access to integrating your google calendar with your actual notion platform then using uh, bardeen and the automation of notion is going to be better for you so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with using google calendar and notion all together make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video